Tom, welcome to Somerset Park. A bit of a surprise for an awful lot of us around football. Um, I, I was looking online about you and uh, the Cali Jags fans. I have a number of posts there. Why did you leave them? And they've got great respect for you. And also they expected you to be signing for a Premiership club. It's a bit of a coup for you. How do you feel about it? Um, well, I'm flattered you saying that, obviously. Um, no, I'm delighted to be here. Um, no, listen, I love my time up at Inverness. I really enjoyed it for the two years I was up there. Um, really enjoyed it, but um, I just I felt at that time I would um, keep my options open and see what I could see what I could get elsewhere. So I turned down my deal, but um, it was nothing against the club. I thought I enjoyed my time there. Um, and uh, all things considered, having spoken to the manager and, and things, I think this is the best, best move for me just now. So you mentioned the manager there, but what has encouraged you to sign for him then? I think just the you know speaking to him, um, what he thinks of myself and um, you know the style of playing, where he sees me in the park and stuff. Um, just and I haven't spoken to um, like of Andy Murdoch, who I know. Um, so no, he spoke well of the manager. And, um, obviously, it's, it's local to me as well, which is a nice wee bonus. Um, so no, it's uh, all things considered, I'm, I'm glad to be here and looking forward to getting started. Right, well, I had that question. Did you say you're local, but uh, you are an Ayrshire lad, yeah. Trun, yeah. Brassy? Trun, just Trun. Just Trun, yeah, yeah. you're not trying to get to the posh end. <laughs> <laughs> um, will it benefit you in terms of being a player uh, by being back home and also less travel time? Well, we'll need to wait and see, but uh, <laughs> it's funny, you go from one extreme to the other, you're travelling four, four hours up there every couple of weeks to um, to be based up there and I'm 15 minutes away, but now we'll wait and see, but... Um, as I say, it's a nice wee bonus, but it's, it's not a big factor in, in terms of my decision making. I think, um, you know, obviously just speaking to the manager, I liked what he had to say and stuff. So um, just looking forward to playing under him and getting started with the new team. How long is your contract for? Uh, one season. One yeah. season. Right. Um, you're talking about the manager and whatever. You've played against Ayr a number of times. So what do you take about the style of Ayr that would uh, suit you? Uh, yeah, I think they play nice football. Um, and as I said, just speaking to the manager the way he wants to play and, and, and getting the ball in the right areas, it kind of sounds as if it will suit me. So, um, no, I know I know the way they train and, 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 and set up for matches. It's, it's a good style. So um, I think it hopefully will suit me and hopefully I can go and do the business for the team as well. What's your target for this season for yourself personally and for the club? Um, listen, I, I think for the, for the club, obviously, they've been in the playoffs the last two seasons, so I think that's probably a realistic target. Um, at least that's that's got to be the aim as well. Again, um, for myself, I'll, I'll just keep that to myself and, <laughs> and try and meet the goals that I set myself. Yeah. Right, I've seen you say before that you'd play in any position for your club. You did an interview with the Jags TV up there and you said that, but your favourite position, the sort of number 10-ish slot, has the gaffer said anything to you about where he sees you playing? Well, he asked me the question because he knows I can play, obviously he's seen me play in a number of positions, um, playing against him for a few years, so um, he knows I can play out wide or in the number 10 or, or even in midfield, so I think, um, having spoken to him, he, he seems to like me um, in the middle, but obviously he knows me as playing mostly out, out wide in my career, but um, it's good that he knows I can do both and, and we'll wait and see where he, he sees me best, but um, I think either or, I'll obviously, you know, goes without saying I'll do my best for the team um, and, and try and contribute well. How do you describe yourself as a player? Uh, what are your main qualities? Um, I like to, you know, drive forward, create goals, um, get assists, and, and chip in my goals as, as many as I can. Um, so I look to do that from whatever position I'm in. Um, yeah, and just work hard for the team and try and, and try and, as I said, get as much assists and goals because that's my job really as an attacking player. Um, and hopefully the team will benefit from that. Well, you've just mentioned goals. Can I say uh, that I was looking back at your profile today and I noticed a volley you scored for a flick against Partick into the box and it was quite astonishing. Do you think we'll see many like that? I Sunday? hope so. I hope so. Aye. No, it'd be nice and hopefully the, the fans will be back as well. So, um, no, like, I think everyone's missed football and I think we're all buzzing to get back playing in front of fans and, and for myself, have that feeling of scoring and, and getting assists, as I said, um, and, and that winning feeling. So, Hopefully the fans are back and we can get back doing that as soon as. Thank you very much and Cheers. welcome to Somerset Cheers, Park. Cheers, thank you. Cheers. Mikey, uh, welcome to Somerset Park. Um, first, let's get down to brass tacks. What encouraged you to sign for Air United? It's just I've obviously been watching them the last few years and seen how well they've been doing. They're making great progress. And since the managers came in, it's doing, doing well as well. Uh, I first heard interest a few months ago and uh, as soon as I spoke to the manager I could, I could sort of see his vision and I just really wanted to be part of it and also it's going to be a very competitive league next season 
and it's just something I would like to play a part in today. You were very successful last season playing at Wraith as well. Um, and well, I've got to put this down here. You're no uh, stranger to winning league titles. What was it? Twice with Morton and Liverington, and now Wraith as yeah, yeah. well. Yeah. So. Uh, are you going to bring that to Somerset this year? <laughs> I don't know, it's not for me to say, but uh, just great experiences over the years to do that. Uh, so it takes a team to win the leagues, and uh, from all, by all accounts here, it's a real team spirit and something I want to be part of. But to say if we're going to win the league or not, I don't, I'm not sure if that's for me to predict right now. You'd target it though if you could? I think anywhere you go, you always want to finish as high as possible. And I think we weren't in the playoff region last season. A lot of, uh, throughout the season, so why not, Just everyone's going to aim for the same thing as best as possible. Now, if you look your uh, right up in Wikipedia, it says defender or uh, defensive midfielder, yeah. but I, I noticed last season, for quite a bit of the season you were playing as a right back or when you went to a three at the back you were more an attacking wing back, yeah. what is your favourite position? Um, probably sitting midfield or in, in the midfield area, I like. Uh, last season, I ended up in pre-season on the Betfred. I ended up playing a game right back and just ended up staying there for the season. Uh, but initially, I was signed as a midfielder. But I, I would probably say if midfield would be my favourite. So defensive midfield, I think. So, what's Mark Kerr said to you so far about what he sees as your position for the club? He's looking at defensive midfield when and that was another one of the attractions when he was trying to sign me. Is that's where I sort of want to play going forward. And obviously, even playing anywhere on the pitch, I would happily do. But I've, just to answer your question about being favourite position, I would say that. You've got a reputation of being a tough tackler, but good at distributing the ball. Uh, a sort of Andy Gegan who plays for air as well. Um, how does that help you in a game? What do you see that role with the team? Is that what you see it as? Uh, I always mentioned that, obviously, in conversations. But I think that comes from growing up playing defence in the fullback area so you're always tackling and then being at Celtic growing up you're, you're sort of taught to play for the back as much as possible so there's sort of two transferable skills you can you can take into the sort of defensive mid area and he's mentioned that in the phone call as well and that was one of the things that really sort of I found positive during talks. You mentioned Celtic there when you were younger but you had experience through a number of clubs as we yeah. said in your championship teams like Morton and Livingston as well. Um, what do you bring to Air United? What do you see as your top qualities and what the fans should see from you? Uh, I think I'm, I would like to think I'm quite calm, rational, uh, good tackler. So I can read the game uh, from the defensive midpoint of view, uh, just because I grew up playing defence. So I always have in my mind, uh, if I'm playing defence, where would I want my sort of sitting midfielder to be to protect us? But I think I can, I can do that really well for the team. Uh, and also just pitching my goal here and there <laughs> if possible for set pieces or that but just I'd just be happy to be playing and I'll give my all every game that's for sure. Now I, I read an interview with you in a Fife newspaper last uh, last year and it talked about the boringness of being in your own when you're in a gym doing that thing and how you really love being on the pitch. I found that, found that a real footballer's comment yeah. if you know what I mean but how has lockdown affected you? Because it must have thrown you back into your hated area. Uh, it was it was hard. I also did bring back memories of sort of where you're, you're yourself and you're sort of plugging away doing your own thing. But I could sort of reflect on that time, and I, I think I probably used that to learn when I remembered sort of times where I was myself in the gym, having to get up early, do my own thing before going to uni or whatever. Uh, so I sort of. I didn't find it easy by any stretch of means, but I always had that to fall back on as I've done it before, so just continue to do it. Well, welcome to Somerset Park and hope you have a great season. Thanks very much. Thank you.